So our sum of squares for our line, okay, we'll just move that up there. Our sum of squares for our line is going to be uh, the sum of squares for the error line is going to be equal to, okay, this term here is, it's going to be y1 squared minus 2y1 times c. Then it's this term, minus times a plus gives us a minus 2y1 times mx1. Let's just group the x1s and the y1s together. So that's 2x1y1m. So it's minus 2x1y1m. Okay. Uh, so that gives us the expansion of this particular product here. Uh, plus, uh, well, what we're going to have now is we're going to have it's c times c gives us a c squared. It's going to be c times mx1 is, well, once again, let's group the observation. So it's going to be c times mx1. And then here we have another mx1 times c. So we have two of them. So that's going to be plus 2, let's say, x1 mc. Okay. And then we have an mx1 times an mx1 gives us a plus. That's going to be a m squared x1 or an x1 m squared let's say it's an m1 x uh, it's an x1 squared there we go okay so that's this term here done and we're going to do the same with the next term okay so when we continue in that particular fashion okay what we're going to have is this becomes it's going to be y2 squared minus 2y2c minus 2x2 y2m plus c squared plus 2x2mc and let's say let's just move this around so this is going to be plus let's say it's going to be an x2 squared and m squared okay and we're going to do this all the way through to the to the nth term so this becomes yn squared minus 2ync minus 2xnynm plus c squared plus 2xnmc plus xn squared m squared okay so hopefully we can see what, what's happening here this is just a summation an overall large summation of individual terms okay but let's regroup them okay because these are all added together it's this plus 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 this and so on it'd be the same as me just adding all of these together then adding these together and these and these and these and these and so on so actually this becomes now the sum of squares of the error across the line is equal to well we've got a we've got n of these terms to be added together so we have it's going to be a y1 squared plus a y2 squared plus plus a y n squared okay that's these done oh look at these terms here well there's a common thing across them there's a 2c or a minus 2c so there's a minus 2c times each one of the y values uh, and it's a summation of them so this becomes a minus 2c times a y1 plus a y2 plus all the way through to a y n okay look at all these terms here what's common there's a 2m common in everything well there's a minus 2m common in everything so let's take that out so this becomes minus 2m times well what we got inside we have an x1 y1 plus an x2 y2 all the way through to an xn yn okay and then we have this term here uh, well how many of them is there well there's n of these particular terms so there's n of these c squareds so this is going to be plus an n c squared okay then we have a plus here well what we've got here what's common across these terms here there's a 2 mc common uh, so it's 2 mc times each x observation so it's going to be plus 2 mc times x1 plus x2 plus all the way through to xn and then finally what we've got here uh, well we have an m squared common all the way down through these terms and they're times uh, the x observation squared so this becomes plus an m squared times an x1 squared plus an x2 squared plus plus an xn squared okay we're nearly there a lot of algebra going on here okay but we're nearly there and um, an important observation is this yeah is that when we have when we have a sum of values okay so let's say we have an a1 
plus an a2 all the way through to an an when we divide that by n what we know is that that's the same as a bar okay which implies then that uh, a1 therefore okay so what we have is that implies then that a1 plus a2 plus all the way down to a n is equal to n times a bar okay so all that's changing here is the identifier we can actually see that what we have here is we have y1 y2 all the way down to yn it's a summation of them so this should be equal to n times the average of the y's in this situation here this is x1 plus x2 all the way down to xn it's a summation of them so this should be equal to n times the average of the x's in this situation here, we have y1 squared plus y2 squared all the way down to yn squared, the summation of them. So this should be equal to n times y squared bar, okay, and so on and so forth uh, throughout this particular this particular derivation, okay. So let me just let me just take this particular uh, situation, okay, and let's just expand out on this, okay. So let's just take this okay, and let's just see what we get, okay. Oops, so let me just do that again. Let me just fold this over. Okay. So what we have is, we have, excuse me, okay, so we have, let's say we have something like this, okay? That's our summation, okay? And let me just get rid of that sheet there, okay? So what we'd like to do now is this is, uh, let's substitute in for these summations n times whatever the variable is okay so our sum of squares of the error across the line becomes equal to well this here is n times y squared bar okay minus 2c times n times y bar minus 2m times well, this is the summation of the product of the x's times the y's, so it's n times x y bar, okay, plus n c squared, plus, well, this is 2 m c times n times the average of the x's, so this is plus 2 m c n times x bar, and in this situation here, this is m squared, so it's plus m squared times well this is the summation of the x squared terms so it's n times the x squared bar so this is n x squared bar okay to give us something that looks like this okay now let's just rearrange this so that our unknowns our slope and our intercepts are the last thing and what we know are actually the constant terms so this becomes the sum of squares for the error across the line is equal to well that's okay this is just a constant term n y squared bar let's uh, rearrange this here to be minus 2 n y bar c let's rearrange this here to be minus 2 n x y bar m that's okay this is plus n c squared let's just rearrange this here to be plus 2 n x bar m c and rearrange this here to be plus n x squared bar m squared okay so this is a better form to work with okay so what we need to do we need to ensure that this particular line okay okay or that this particular uh, equation okay in two unknowns in in m's and in c's the slopes and the intercept that it's minimized with respect to uh, these particular values so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate our partial derivatives we're going to calculate our partial derivatives okay. okay and what we know is when we calculate them partial derivatives that because they're minimized they should be equal to zero okay so we're going to calculate our partial derivative of s of e of the line with respect to the m parameter and we're also going to calculate our partial derivative uh, of s of e of the line with respect to the c parameter okay so what does that look like so when we when we do that okay we're going to end up with okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to differentiate across this system okay 
uh, we're going to do first, we're going to differentiate with respect to m. So everything else is assumed to be constant except m. Okay. So in this situation here, uh, what we end up with is this partial derivative of the line okay, with respect to m is going to be equal to, we're going to differentiate this with respect to m. So everything is constant. Well, this is just a constant term. So this is zero. Okay. Uh, everything here is constant. The only thing that's not constant is m, but everything here is not an m, so that's a constant. And you can see here that we have an m here, so the derivative of this, don't forget, minus 2n times x y bar is a constant. So a constant times m, its derivative is simply going to be equal to the constant. So this, this gives us minus 2n x y bar. Okay? This is a constant term with respect to m. In relation to this here, this is 2n x bar m c, so the 2n x bar c is constant. So this now gives us, uh, I suppose it gives us plus 2n x bar c. And when we differentiate this particular term here, well the derivative of m squared is 2m, so this is a constant, so it's n x squared bar times 2n, so this gives us plus 2n x squared bar times times m. That's our first partial derivative, okay? Our second partial derivative, uh, delta se of the line, okay, uh, with respect to the intercept, is going to be equal to, okay, once again, that's a constant, okay? Oh, there we go, there's our c, what we're differentiating with respect to, so it's a constant times c is the same as the constant, so this gives us minus 2ny bar, okay? That's just a constant term. Uh, in this situation here, when we differentiate